These are just some of the people we've met in the last few weeks. In all different ways, they've come together to help one another. My name is Orlin McIntosh. I've got three children and I work at Sacred Heart Primary School and also I volunteer in the community. Almost a year ago, Orlin joined the Roehampton Response Network. Yeah, good afternoon everyone, my name is Jonathan Palmer. A Zoom call full of local people wanting to help their neighbours when the pandemic hit. At the first start of the lockdown, I was very isolated. But when I joined the meeting, I know, do you know what? A lot of parents are going through the same thing. It's where she met John, who runs cooking sessions that help people prepare meals on a budget. And he was saying, though, you can cook a healthy meal for one pound. And I was like, healthy meal for one pound? Never thought about that. We asked them how much they've been saving after the course. Um, and we found that uh, households save up to £900 if, after doing the course, which is unbelievable. Um, because people stop eating takeaways, they stop take, buying ready meals. One of the biggest operations to come out of the network are these weekly boxes which have helped around 500 families. Right, guys. We're... To raise money for the cause, more than 100 people took part in marathons last weekend, including local mum, Andrea. So it was basically because of the support that they've given me and my family during this pandemic, to be honest. Like, they give out a community box every week to us with food and activities for the children. So that's really, really helped us in terms of, like, keeping the fridge stocked and, you know, keeping the kids motivated during um, these trying times. As well as the huge organised response here, we've met individuals making a difference. There's Lynn, who's encouraged people to paint and showcase their lockdown work in an exhibition. So I think a lot of people are struggling and it's finding a way to deal with that emotional mess that they're in, being able to put it down on paper. And Gail, who gives toys to families with toddlers in lockdown. Having some nice resources that they would have had if they went to the local children's centre or a play session is really important. This year has been so hard for so many and some people have had real stories of suffering they just don't want to share on camera. But one of the main things I've got from spending time on this estate is the amazing sense of community here and I think that's really given people hope. JP has lived here his whole life. He's the one who first brought everyone together. We've changed the narrative of Roehampton. All these, all these beautiful people have changed the narrative from one where we we're talking about crime and statistics and now we're talking about togetherness, we're talking about uh, unity and that's built sort of confidence in, in, where, in where people live and how they, how they treat the place. Before the pandemic there wasn't really much of a community feel. Um, it was pretty much everybody getting on with their lives before all of this but now that, that this has happened it has brought the community together. I really believe, and it's really difficult at the moment still for so many families and for so many members of the community, but I really believe in the long term from this our community will be strengthened. Tara Welsh, BBC London.